Come ride the little train that is rolling down the tracks to the junction. Forget about your cares, it is time to relax at the junction. Lots of curves, you bet. And even more when you get to the junction. Petticoat Junction. There's a little hotel called the Shady Rest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. It is run by Kate. Come and be her guest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. And that's Uncle Joe. He's a moving kind of slow at the junction. Petticoat Junction. I'll be picking you up next Saturday at 7, Betty Jo. But, Eddie, the basketball game doesn't start till 8. Basketball? We're going to a debate. To a what? A debate. On a Saturday night? That's the trouble with you, Betty. You're not interested in one doggone thing that's going on in the world. I am, too. I'm interested in basketball. No wonder you women haven't contributed anything. Oh, is that so? Okay. Name one thing. Name one thing you women have contributed. Children. Children? Now, what do children have to do with civilization? Oh, you slay me. Huh, that just proves how immature your thinking is. It's juvenile. Well, if that's the way you feel, goodbye. <laughs> Kate, you can laugh all you want to. A year ago, this was no bigger than a walnut. Uncle Joe, what good are all those short pieces of string? Taken one by one, nothing. But tie a lot of little nothings together, and what have you got? A big nothing? <laughs> OK. Someday there'll be an emergency, and you'll need it. Well, of all the stupidity. Don't you know the difference between a string and your leash? Hey, this mutt needs glasses. Now go and find some string. <laughs> How was school? Fine. Mom, I want to ask you something, and I want a frank answer. Yes, dear. Am I immature? Certainly you're not. Who said you were? Edward. Sometimes I don't like him very much. Just because I don't happen to want to do something that he happens to want to do, he says my thinking is juvenile. Oh, it's a typical male opinion. <laughs> That's a typical female opinion of a typical male opinion. <laughs> Saturday night and Edward wants to go to a debate of all things. Well, that is carrying things a little too far. Yes, and just because he wants to know what's going on in the world. Mom, Edward's too good looking to throw his life away like that. <laughs> I thought you didn't like him very much. Well, I don't. But I can still pity him, can't I? Oh, Mom, what am I going to do Saturday night? Well, I wouldn't worry about that. Your sister Bobby Joe isn't going out either. Oh, does that mean we both have to stay home and play checkers with Uncle Joe? I don't see anything so wrong about that. You would if you were young. Oh, well, not that you're, you're not young. It's, it's just that Saturday night I wanted to go to the game and find out what's going on in the world. <laughs> Bobby, Betty, come on! You'll be late for school! Billy Joe, hold around these pieces of toast for me. Well, come on! Bye, Mom! Betty Joe, if there's any bacon left, bring it! I tried to get some, but Uncle Joe's eating it all! Bye, Mom! Betty Joe, wait a minute! Gloria Stebbins left these books here last summer when she visited Bobby Joe. Oh, what am I supposed to do with them? Well, she asked us to mail them to her back at college. So you take them to Sam Drucker, let him do the honors. The okay. address is inside. Okay, Mom. Here, let me show you what I found in the kitchen wastebasket. <laughs> All this string just thrown away. I tell you, it's pretty discouraging. Uncle well, Joe, it's going to take you all day to untangle that. And what's wrong with an honest day's work? Daddy Joe, I thought Mom asked you to leave 
those books with Mr. Drucker. Well, I didn't have time. Sorry. Well, stay where you are. Oh, well, it was all my fault. No, no, no. It's mine. No, really. It, it was my fault. It's advanced science? College trigonometry? Emily Dickinson College. Do you go to Emily Dickinson? Who, I? Uh, this was entirely my fault. <laughs> yeah, you're Dickinson, all right. Only a Dickinson girl would say, who, I? Who, I? This was entirely my fault. Stay over at State College. I'm spending part of my vacation visiting some cousins in Hooterville. You on vacation? Well, um... Uh, you know, this was all my fault. You know, I've been looking where I was going, and instead of at you, he wouldn't have bumped. Here, let's sit down. Here? I, uh... uh I mean, uh... Say, so you from around here? Uh, around? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, that's good. Yes, uh, I am from around here. How do you like Emily Dickinson? I like her. Uh, them. Uh, it. And they sure pour it on there, don't they? You mean... Uh, you know... I'm afraid this was all my fault. <laughs> what does he look like? I can't tell. I'll find out. You just can't. Oh, conductor! Oh, conductor! <laughs> so you're on State's varsity basketball team? Sure. Honest? Say, so you gonna have any free time while you're home from college? <laughs> I might. After all, I don't have to spend all my time with my family. Someone call me? Oh, oh, I did, Conductor. Um, can you tell me where we are? Why, where we always are, Billy Joe. Oh, thank you, Conductor. Hi, Betty Joe. Do you want to know where we are? Why, Floyd, how wonderful to see you again. Who, I? Uh, after all these weeks and months. After... Oh, 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 of course. But it seems like only yesterday I saw you last. Hope you're going to be around for a while, Betty. <laughs> Man, they really do pour it on you, don't they? <laughs> found out what string is. We sure found a long piece. <laughs> Think you're funny, huh? Will you try that again and I'll unravel you there won't be enough left of you to wag your tail with. And that's a commotion. I've had all I can stand to this hound. This hotel ain't big enough for the two of us. It's either him or me. Shall we help him pack? <laughs> Come on, boy, let's go. Hi, Mom. Hi, honey. How was school today? Terrific. I never had such a terrific day. Here's the mail, Mom. Well, thank you, dear. Wait a minute. What are you doing with Gloria's books? Hmm? Gloria Stebbins, I told you to take them to Sam Drucker and have him mail them back to her. I'm going to. I just want to keep them for a few days. What for? You have no idea what I got out of these today. What? Mom, I feel like a different person. Well, psychology three, elementary paleontology, a trustful civilization, what do they do for you? Mom, just because Edward says I have a juvenile mind doesn't mean I have one. I'm interested in everything that's going on in the world. Did you know that State College hasn't lost a basketball game all this season? I mean, books like these expand a person's horizons. Expand their what? Horizon. Did you know that any girl who gets into Emily Dickinson College is considered brilliant? Really? Poor Edward. I won't have time to see so much of him from now on. Not unless he changes his mind about you being juvenile. Huh. If he apologized to me on his knees, I wouldn't have time to stop reading Etruscan trigonometry. <laughs> Your horizons haven't expanded. They busted out at the scene. <laughs> and uh, you're going to let him think.
think you go to Dickinson? Of course. <laughs> if I told him the truth, it would shake his confidence in being able to judge people, especially women. <laughs> you're not a woman, you're a girl. Oh, that's what I mean. If he knew that, it would really shake him. <laughs> he wouldn't even take me to the movies tonight. To the where? And you're going? Only to show Edward he's dead wrong about me. He needs to have his eyes open. He does. Oh, and none of this is because you like Chuck a little. Then where did you get that idea? From Floyd. Honestly. I wish Floyd would be more interested in a few of the important things that are going on in this world and instead of just what's going on in his train. <laughs> Miss Bradley. Oh, hello, Edward. Am I glad I ran into you? I wanted to ask if Betty was still sore about, uh, about... About being an intellectual juvenile? <laughs> Miss Bradley, when I said that about her mind, I didn't think she'd take it personally. <laughs> wow, she sure is sensitive. I guess she is, because she's trying awful hard to improve herself. She's what? Oh, sure. She's reading about um, the Etruscan civilization and trigonometry and... Oh, she'd be surprised. Just because of me? <laughs> well, I will admit that you did give her a boost in the right direction, but both of you are so young, you should have some fun. Oh? Well, look at Einstein. Even he took time out to play the violin. Well, if Einstein could do it, so can I. I bought this coming home from school today. Listen to what it says. Today's college woman is sophisticated, alert, sincere, civic-minded, and... Well, what's yogurt? It's a kind of sour milk. Sour milk? Yeah, sour <laughs> milk. <sighs> Today's college woman more or less lives on yogurt. Would that include any college woman, or, or, or even at Emily Dickinson? I don't know. Well, there must be something to it. Sunglasses are out. False eyelashes after dark are the big in. Flat heels are for lectures and in the discotheque. And extreme high heels are in only for the date on which the future may hang. And they do all that on yogurt? Well, 63% of all co-eds who were asked frankly admitted they came to college in hopes of meeting the right man. Well, like I've said all along, I may not go to college. There must be an easier way than that to get a man. Well, I have high heels, but they aren't high enough to hang my future on. And where do I find yogurt and, and eyelashes? Which is more important, yogurt, high heels, or eyelashes? Well, they're all important, but where do you get them? Well, somebody in Hooterville must have eyelashes. And somebody must have yogurt. And if they do, I'll find them. <laughs> Floyd knows everybody. Ask him. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'll have your order ready for you when you come in. Hey, Sam, you got any false eyelashes? <laughs> any what? False eyelashes. No, but I can send away and get you a toupee. <laughs> Why would I want a toupee? <laughs> Why would you want false eyelashes? Well, for reasons I'm not at liberty to divulge. <laughs> then I shouldn't think you'd want to. I almost forgot. You got any yogurt? Any what? You know, yogurt, like sour milk. Oh, yogurt. No, I haven't had to carry that stuff since old Mrs. Mason got over the Quincy. Did she go to Emily Dickinson College? Where? Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, hey, Newt, have you got any yogurt? Yogurt? Huh, Doc Stewart tell you to lose some of that fat. What fat? <laughs> no wisecracks. All I want is a, an answer to me. Hey. Are these real? Or what real? This cow's eyelashes. Oh, oh, I thought you meant. Well, I know what you thought I meant. <laughs> I just wonder if it'd be possible to. Oh, I don't reckon it would. Hey, what about the yogurt? Charlie, can't you see I got my hands full? Well, I'm in a hurry. I ain't got all day. It's for Betty Joe. Betty Joe? Yeah. Well, why in Tunka didn't you say so in the first place? Here, you keep things moving until I get back. <laughs> oh, how are you? Mr. Douglas, we have a terrible problem. Do you have any false eyelashes? 
Any what? I mean, does Mrs. Douglas have any false eyelashes? Oh, oh yes, I suppose so. Uh, what size do you wear? Oh, they're not for me. They're for sort of a college co-ed. A college co-ed? Well, they're really for a man that's at State College. <laughs> oh, and do you have any high heel pumps? <laughs> what course is this man taking? I don't know. Probably straight humanities. Lisa! <laughs> That. Yogurt. I don't seem to be enjoying it very much. I just don't feel like stuffing myself. <laughs> Mom, she has a date tonight. A date? She nervous? No, she's dieting. She has to diet. He's a college man. What's that got to do with it? Everything. College men like a girl that's... that's... Hungry? <laughs> I'll take that pork chop Betty Joe don't want. Just a second. Why, I ain't going out with no college fella. Betty, Joe might change your mind about it. Uh, oh, no. You can give all my dinner to Uncle Joe. <laughs> Besides, I've got to go upstairs and get ready and everything. <laughs> everything is right. You know, when I was Betty Joe's age, college men liked their girls plump. They got them plump. <laughs> Why does this fellow here think he has to go to college? Why didn't he go out and look for a job like I did? Unlike they're still doing. Well, I'm still looking. Jobs ain't easy to find. I all want college men. Now hold still till I get these lashes on. Let's have another drop of glue. Where did you get this? In the kitchen. It was the only glue I could find. Have you read the instructions? Apply thin coat, clamp with vice, and leave for 24 hours. What? Oh, that's only if you're mending a chair or something. Where are the lashes for the other eye? Oh, they're on the bureau. Betty, hold still. There aren't any lashes here. They've got to be there. Well, there aren't. Betty, will you please hold still? There aren't any lashes anywhere. Oh, they've just got to be there. Now, say, Betty Joe, where did you leave them? Do you suppose they crawled under there? <laughs> Cap and gown. Or do you suppose he'll come in formal? <laughs> Hi, Miss Bradley. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Carson. Hi. Only Eddie. I thought I'd surprise Betty. What do you mean, it's only Eddie? After what you told me at the store, I decided maybe I've been pushing her too hard. So, I'm going to take her to the movies. <coughs> Tonight? Sure. <coughs> <laughs> Okay, but it seems a little dark in here. Is the light on? <laughs> when Chuck sees these heels, he's going to think you're taking a graduate course. <laughs> Let me have your foot. There. Thanks. Oh, wait. Don't you want to wear both of them? Oh, sure, but I'm positive Chuck's down there. Mrs. Douglas says while you're in them to make sure you're within falling distance of your man. <laughs> well, wish me luck. Betty Joe, Betty, Betty Joe. Yes? Yeah. Who's that? Well, it's your daughter, me. Oh. Well, me, I got news for you. Is he here? He is here and he is Edward. Is who? Edward, and he's come to take you to the movies. Oh, no. He feels you've been overstudying with those college books. Well, where would he get an idea like that? Well, if you must know, he might have gotten it from me. Well, I never opened those books. Chuck saw me with them on the train and thought I was in college. Well, you've got to get rid of Edward. What do you want me to do, shoot him? Excuse me. Announcing another Swain has arrived. Oh, no. Well, Mom, you have to do something. I have to do something. Bobby, you've got to go with him. With Chuck? With Edward. Edward? Betty, he's a babe in arms. 
Well, you don't have to carry him. Just lead him. <laughs> please say you will, please. Sister, Bobby Joe. <laughs> Hello. And my kid mother. <laughs> mother. How do you do? Glad to know you. Hello, Edward. Edward's taking Bobby to the movies. I'm um, what? Have I kept you waiting? Oh, I mean, uh, well, there's some. Uh, Edward, Edward, you're going to have to relax. You've been pushing too hard. <laughs> Come on, let's get going. Yeah, but what I want no, is Edward, no matter what you want, there's only one movie. You gotta take what they give you. <laughs> Sense, so I could get some popcorn. <laughs> going to be known as the night that was. <laughs> like the time all New York blacked out. I was reading the day where most college kids wind up with nervous breakdowns. If you ask me, they're asking for it. Well, I'll say this. They sure get their education the hard way. <laughs> hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi. 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 <sighs> How was the movie? Oh, the first half wasn't too good, but the second half was terrific. <laughs> I'll say. Have some popcorn? Oh, thank you. Uh, this on Edward? Oh, no. This is on Chuck. Hers is on Edward. <laughs> on Edward? Sure, Mom. <laughs> hey, now, wait a minute. Oh, Mom, after Bobby and I exchanged men, I discovered that Edward was interested in a lot of things. I'll say. He's even taking you to the basketball game Saturday night. Good night. Good night. Well, Uncle Joe, how about you and me having a midnight snack? Oh. Ice cream and cake? No. Yogurt and yogurt. We got a whole ice box full of it. Let's go. <laughs> Come on.
Lookout Junction. This has been a Filmways presentation.